All-Star Weekend, I think the entertainment part is really where it's at. I mean, they turn these players. One, they had them mic'd. Certain players mic'd. Mm-hmm. All the players seem like they're just ready for primetime. It seems ready for primetime to me. I, I think the NBA did everything they could to keep people engaged. And the fact that they got to do it in Utah, it was so much easier. No smoke, no drink. Uh, so you could go to dinner. P.F. Chang's is great. <laughs> Love P.F. Chang's there. And uh, and you is there for basketball. There was no distractions. I didn't hear of any fights at parties. I didn't hear of any shootings. That's a good point. You know, it, w- it was a really, not that that comes with the NBA, but, you know, when you have a gathering of people now, it's, it's a very nervous. It was a lot of security. Um, so, you know, and nowadays you have to worry. That That is definitely a worry about something like that going on. So I'm glad that didn't happen. I love that McCure got the, got his dunks. Uh, and it was a trip, too. When I watched, I was thinking, this kid can really, think about how high he could really jump. Mm-hmm. And he's going against a guy six nine, which everybody goes, "Oh, he's six nine, But he was impressive as well. It was really great dunks today. I think Shaq put it best. He said, um, "This saved the NBA slam dunk," and I agree with that. I really do. And the sneakers he's wearing, they almost look like Tatum's. Tatum's got to release his new shoe, the Jordan Tatum ones, yep. and he scored fifty five in an All Star game. A record. Mac is in Pumas right yeah. there. I think he got – that's who'd sign him. Oh. Well, I, I, that is a record. 55 points. 55, yeah. yeah. Uh, Steph had 50 last year, right? But Anthony Davis poured in 52 a couple years before that. Yeah. So then that he got hurt. the record, yeah. Yeah. Then he, got, he, got hurt. <laughs> then he had a hangnail. Um, <laughs> I, I, you know why I feel, I feel bad that they always think that about him? I think the kid is a great player. I do. I think he's a great player. And I don't know how – well, I do know. Remember, everything when it comes to me is nutrition. But to play that hard and to stay injured, man, that's a, that's a tough thing. People don't realize how hard it is. When you're injured is one thing. But the things you have to go through. I remember I had to be in the training room at 8 o'clock in the morning getting treatment. And I was thinking, why couldn't y'all treat me last night, like all night last night? You got to sit in a boot. You got to do all these different things. You just want to get back to the court. But everything is thrown off, right? So if you hurt your your left leg, your right leg is taking too much stress. If you hurt your shoulder, everything is bad. You can't lift your arm above your head. It's a tough, tough thing to do. But they don't play that hard anymore. And I don't even know if I can play in this era. You got to be able to shoot a three-pointer. Yeah, they had a seven footer shoot. Was he six eleven shooting three pointers in the three point range? Thing you got to be able to shoot the three pointer, and I think the game has changed so everybody can enjoy it. Before, I, I asked early. I said, "What about Embiid?" Like, and I was going to ask you this: it, Was he even at the All Star game? Embiid? Yeah. Yeah, did you not did see? Did they ever him? mention it? You know what I'm saying? That they, they, they don't mention any yeah, of the big men. Yeah, 32 points. But say he, he didn't even. Talk he, they don't mention right. They don't yeah. talk about him. They don't talk about him. They don't talk about big men. Well, it's the weird thing about him. He's he's having a, a dominant season, and mm-hmm. yet he's in no MVP conversation for whatever reason. Like that dude. How do you? You're a seven footer who played. Yeah. How would you have guarded this dude? I would have. Uh, one, you hit him on his wrist as hard as you can. The first foul. I know. People used to hate that I played this way, but <laughs> you, hit, you hit him as hard as you can the first time. Mm-hmm. And that's the only way because he's taking you to the basket. He's 7'1", he's 285, 290. Yeah. He's got a handle, he can shoot. He goes down low, he puts his shoulders into you, beats you up. Like, and no one talks about him. There was no conversation. That's a very good point. And I, and I, and I said that when I came in. I was like, why are, they, why are they doing it on purpose? Are they trying to like be quiet? that Philadelphia may be the team to beat Boston? I think I'll throw that out there. And if you if you got a thought, you guys can call in. And I'm only saying it because uh, I watched Boston run out of gas. <clears throat> I watched them run out of gas, and it's a tough thing what happens right now. Everything is downhill. After the All-Star game, it's supposed to be 41 games downhill, and it's, it's going to be a tough run. And I just wondered that. And I, I threw that out there for you, Jay, because I know that you're a Philly fan. Uh, I just looked in your yeah. corner. And you're a Dallas fan, so we can't say much, but I'm glad you're covering the star. <laughs> <laughs> Sally, stuff. you made three career three-pointers. Do you remember them? Oh, definitely not. 
And 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 I would think and if you would have asked me that in a trivial, I would say, they, how many did you make? I'd be like none. I made three. You were? Do you know how many you attempted? Any mm, idea? No. Three for fourteen in your career. Uh, in 1989, you were one for four, and then in '93 in Miami, you were two for three. In the whole season. In the whole season. It had to be by mistake <laughs> that I shot the ball. I couldn't tell you. Maybe it was like three, two, one. You had to rock. You had to shoot. Uh, yeah, one of those things. <laughs> and, and, and luckily, probably hit the backboard and went in. I was working with a, a young man the other day, uh, Chris Blount, uh, Blunt. And I was talking. It was funny. I hadn't been on court in such a long time. But I knew he was trying out for this new league. Uh, good luck, Chris. And I said, let me see you shoot. And I was watching him shoot. And I said, what did you average in high school? And I watched it. And all I remembered is, God rest his soul, Bonnie Davis would always tell me, tuck your elbow, put your elbow close if you're going to shoot. Uh, I had some great shooting coaches too, but it didn't work in the, co- in, in the NBA. Chuck <laughs> said, we don't want you doing that. Um, <laughs> with 82 shots a game, you're not getting but one of them. Uh, <laughs> And I was working with him, and I was just thinking when I was on the court. When I left, I was so tired. And all I was was talking and pushing. I couldn't imagine. them so far removed, 23 years since I've been in the NBA, so far removed on watching these guys run, jump. It, it is an amazing thing. I, I, I'm not going to say I took it for granted, but now in my 50s, whew, I couldn't imagine. Do you enjoy watching today's NBA? Like, you watched the All-Star game yesterday. Like, Michael Malone, the Nuggets coach, mm-hmm. said it was the worst game he's ever seen. Jalen Brown said it's not real basketball. Right. Like, do you enjoy that type of All-Star game, or what do you think when you watch today's game? I think the All-Star game should end at the slam dunk and the skill. Like, the playing a game, it's, it's, not, it's no longer the same either, right? Because the guys can pick. So... It's not like really, you know, East versus West is no. Um, back in the day, you know, you had this was about money, right? Guys got an All Star game, they got a they got a bonus, they got a bonus from their sneakers, they got a bonus from the NBA, they got a bonus in their contract. You know, it was a bunch of things kicked in. You know, it was, but now, you know, guys are making twenty million dollars. Who, you know, if I was if I was an NBA player right now, that trip would have been. To uh, to Jamaica or the Bahamas Thursday night, I would have been gone, and I would have been back Monday. I would have <laughs> taken that time to relax, get some sun. But these guys, the game is not supposed to be. Just it was funny watching Jason Tatum go back and forth against his teammate. You know they play like he said, like they're playing one on one, and you watch it because no one wants to get hurt in an All Star game, right? Yeah. So they're not doing anything. Even even watching. Um, <laughs> watching guys go to the basket. No one's reaching. No one's going up trying to block any shots. Nope. If he's going to the basket, let him go. And I and I think it's smart to tell them that because these guys are all Fortune 500 companies. But to get a guy to get 55, man, how many minutes did he play? 35. Yeah, that's amazing. 10 to 18 from three. As my cousin would say, Kobe was really proud of his prodigy. Mm-hmm. The kid definitely is definitely a great player. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.